What is going on guys welcome back in this video we're going to learn how to connect our locally hosted Python applications like web chats online multiplayer games or servers to the internet using ng rock so let us get right into it. All right, so what's the basic idea behind using ng rock the basic idea is quite simple we have an application running locally on our system for example a tcp chat room i have a couple of tutorials on how to implement a tcp chat room in python and you want to make that chat room for example available on the internet so you want people to be able to send requests to a certain uh, address so that they can send a request to your chat that is running locally on your computer and then you can answer and you don't want to necessarily open ports in your firewall you don't want to necessarily make your IP address public and so on and so forth so what you can do is you can use ng rock to tunnel that connection so basically people will send requests to an ng rock address this will be tunneled to your system this will be forwarded to your system then you get the request you can respond via ng rock back to them and essentially you can then use your application on the internet so you can make it public you can uh, have people send requests via the internet you don't have to um, to buy a server you don't have to make your IP address public and open ports in your firewall you can just take a simple Python script like a TCP chat room or a multiplayer game and make it uh, available online because in your local area network it's automatically available so if you have a Python script hosted on your computer people or computers devices in the same network can access that service or server this is not the case for the internet so people cannot just connect to your IP address and use the service you need to open ports you need to set up certain things or you can just use ng rock to forward the connection and if you want to do that what you need to do is you need to go to ngrock.com and you need to go to download and then you choose your operating system in my case windows here and on windows you can either install it via the command line like that or you can just download the zip file and um, unzip it. So essentially this is just ngrock.exe, uh, ng the file that is inside of that zip file. You uh, extract it somewhere and then you know where it is. You can add it to path if you want to. If you don't add it to path, uh, you need to keep in mind that you always need to specify the path to the executable if you want to use it. And I'm going to show you what that means here uh, in a second. So once you have that, once you downloaded that and unpack the executable file, you want to create an account. In my case, I already have one and I'm going to log in here. Um, and what you see here is again, download ng rock. You have done that already. You unzip it. You can do that via the command line. You can do that with 7-zip or just the Windows Explorer. It doesn't matter. And then the important step is uh, step two, connect your account. So what you want to do is you want to execute that, uh, that command that you see down here below. Hopefully, I'm going to censor it because this is my authentication token. So you will have your own authentication token, but you go to that box and you copy that command. Now, this is what I meant with the executable path. If you are using the ngrock.exe uh, ng file and not just the command ngrock because you didn't install it via the command line or you didn't add it to path, you need to type ngrock.exe config add auth token and then your auth token. Um, otherwise, it's not going to find the application, obviously. So you need to be in the directory where your uh, ng rock application is and then you have the step three which is fire it up and um, this is essentially again just ng rock and then the service and the port and so on and so forth so this is what we need to do um, and for that now I'm going to close this I'm going to open up PyCharm and here now I have the ng rock exit and as an example here we're going to build a simple client server system and I'm going to show you that this works so we're going to start with a simple server.py file and we can then say import socket server equals socket 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 afi net socket sock stream so tcp internet socket essentially server bind we're going to bind this just to localhost so localhost and we're going to choose port 9999 you can choose whatever port you like provided that it's free, of course. Um, and then you type server listen. And then while true, we're just going to accept all the incoming connections. So we're going to say client address is going to be equal to server dot accept. And then essentially, we're just going to say um, client sent hello world, and we're going to send this as bytes here, or actually, let's, let's just say dot encode. 
like that. Come on. There you go. And then client.close. So nothing too fancy, just a server that when you connect to that server is going to send you hello world and that's it. Nothing too fancy, not a chat, not some functionality, just a basic message that you get. Um, and maybe we also want to see that we can receive messages. So let's say client print client dot receive 1024 bytes decode, just so we can see that both directions work. And that is essentially it. Now for the client script, we're going to say client py import socket client equals socket 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 af inet socket sock stream and then client dot connect now this is the question where do we connect to uh, we're gonna fill that out in a second here but before we do that i want to show you how ng rock works in general so i'm going to open up the command line i'm going to navigate here to um neural dear then to python uh, then to current, here is the file. So in this case here, I have the ngrock.exe file. And what I can do now is I can run, for example, here with this command line, a Python server, a simple Python HTTP server by saying python m HTTP.server. And I'm going to say I want to run this here on port 9999. Uh, so that is running here. And I think if I go to the browser and I type localhost 9999, you can see that this opens up the respective web server. So I can now open up a second command line here, and I can navigate to um, to neural directory to Python, and then to current. And here I can say now ngrock exe http uh, 9999. I think this is what we need to do here. And then this essentially now tells me this is the interface that you can see here. Uh, this tells me that now I'm running the web interfaces here and I, now I'm running on this particular website. So this particular website here is forwarded to localhost 999 and you have the same here for HTTPS. So essentially when we connect to that website here, um, you're going to get to this website here. So right now, of course, when you're watching this video, this is not going to be active anymore. But if you were to right now access this URL, you would be able to access this web service here. So I can actually just put it in here. And you can see that this works. So we connect to that. And this is already on the internet right now. So if you wherever you are in the world, you type in that URL right now, while I'm running this service on my computer, you would be able to see those files, you would be able to access this HTTP server. Um, and the same thing now works also for uh, not just HTTP, but also for TCP connections. So what we would do here now is we would say ngrock exe TCP 9999. And then you can see here, we have this TCP connection uh, forwarded to localhost 9999. So we can copy that. And um, we can now go to PyCharm and say that we want to connect to that um, address and we're going to remove here the TCP. We only want to have six point TCP and rock IO this port. And then I want to or actually not this port, sorry, we need to specify the port here as the second parameter of the tuple. Um, so what was it again? One five, uh, one five, nine, three, three, one five, nine, three, three. That's how you connect to that. And now we can go ahead and say print client receive 1024 decode and then client send a server dot encode like that. And now if I run this server here, this should be running on port 9999. And then if I run this here, this works as you can see, hey, server, hello world. So this client connected to this address here. This is not my address. This is just an online address that you can access right now as well. Um, like not when you're watching, but at the time of the recording here. And this server is running on localhost. So they're not this server is not hosted on that IP address or on that address in general, it is hosted on localhost and ng rock tunnels the connection or forwards the connection uh, to the computer. And that is the basic idea. Now, 
if you have a Python script and you connect to my service, you can do that. And I'm going to show you that this works here in a second. I'm going to use my second laptop and I'm going to connect to my um, phone's hotspot. So I'm going to connect to my phone internet, which is not the same as my home internet. And of course, I cannot prove that to you, but you have to believe me. And you can try it on your own at home, of course. But uh, I'm going to now use my second laptop and connect to that service via the internet, not via the local area network here. And you're going to see that I'm still going to be able to access this service because essentially I'm accessing this public address here and Angie Rock forwards the requests to my local host service. All right, so let's give it a test run. Angie Rock is still running on the same address and I'm now going to start the server again. And here now I have my Linux laptop and my Linux laptop um, is connected to my phone internet. So to a different internet to my hotspot. And now I'm going to run a Python script here that I wrote. It's essentially the client Python script, but with a different uh, message. So it doesn't say, hey server, it says hello from Linux. So I'm going to now execute that script by saying Python three client py. And there you go. Hello from Linux is what we see here. Now you're probably not going to see this here, but it basically says uh, hello world from the server. So just hello world, but it comes from the server. And this is not connected via the local area network. So usually, of course, those are in the same network. But right now, this laptop here sent a request to the internet to angirock IO, then connected to angirock, angirock forwarded the request to this machine that I'm recording on this machine answered to angirock via the internet and angirock gave it back to that machine. So this would have worked if you are in Australia as well. Um, and send a request while the server is running. Uh, this is what you get. And I think this year now is Ubuntu uh, connecting to the server and sending some messages. So I'm going to stop that here. But this is how this works. This is how you can put your services online at least for some time to test them on the internet uh, using angirock. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.